Here we have a three-dimensional object in the scene and we're going to apply a texture to this object using the object info palette and then we'll use the attribute mapping tool to adjust the location of the texture on the surface of this object and also to adjust the scale and orientation of the texture as well. So let's click on the object and in the object info palette make sure that the third tab on the right which is the render tab has been selected and then click on the texture drop down box and select texture we have this one texture already in the file and it is applied by default so now we'll go to the attribute mapping tool which can be found in the basic palette and also in the visualization palette by the way and we are asked whether we'd like to change the texture map type. And the reason for that is that in this file, the default map type is perimeter, but the attribute mapping tool cannot work with the perimeter map type. It can only work with one of these three map types, cylinder, sphere, and plane. And as we can see, this object is neither cylindrical nor spherical, but actually consists of a series of flat planes. So we'll leave it at plane and click yes. And now we see a single instance of the texture or a single tile of the texture. And the first thing we'd like to do, or the first thing we need to do, is to select the plane on which we will apply this texture. So we do that by clicking on the desired plane. So let's just click right here. You see that the texture has is not really centered. We can grab it by one of the corners or one of the edges and simply drag it around to where we'd like to have it. Now the texture instance has a number of handles around the perimeter and the ones in the corner are used to change the scale of the texture. You can see that when you move the cursor over the corner it changes to a double-headed arrow so just click and drag to change the scale of the texture and the handles in between the corners are used to rotate the texture along the plane of the object. Now if you'd like to see how this texture looks when it is mapped onto the entire surface of the plane that we selected earlier, we go up to the toolbar and click on the original repeat mode and we can see how the texture repeats on that surface. Let's go back to the non-repeating mode. You can see that there are a number of different axes represented in different colors. There's a blue, green, and red axis and if we click on one of those axes with a cursor then th we get additional options for altering the orientation of the texture. For example, if we click on the red axis, we see that we now get a group of different handles here. And if we move the cursor over the different handles, we can see how we can change the orientation of the texture along each of those axes simply by grabbing one of those handles and then dragging it in the direction that we'd like. And this is especially useful when you are adjusting the location of textures on complicated shapes and organic shapes and you may want to adjust the orientation of textures in three dimensions. To get out of this mode we'll just click once again within the texture area and now we're back to the, the mode that we were in before and we can enlarge it and see what it looks like spread on the entire surface of that plane. If we'd like to, at any time, if we'd like to select a different plane on which to apply the texture, all we have to do is click on that plane and then drag the texture to the location that we would like to see. 